Welcome to Pandora's Box video tutorials. In this lesson we want to show you how to draw a canvas on a Pandora's Box client. Herefore we take the input data of the client's mouse, pick it up with the Pandora's Box master and send it to the widget designer. In the widget designer we use a layer mouse UV draw to canvas node to send it back to the master to draw on the client's canvas. At the end we will be able to use the mouse that is attached to our client to draw on the full screen output. First we have to make sure that the IP connection between the Pandora's box master, client and the widget designer matches. Therefore we check the IP address and the domain in the master and in the client. In the widget designer open Pandora's box IP configuration. Check the address and the domain and click on enable connections. Now drag the client into the device tab. Go to the device types tab and drag the widget designer device into the device tab as well. In case that the widget designer runs on another machine, check the IP address in the inspector. Pandora's box may show a red exclamation mark in the device tab until the connection is established. With a right click on the project name in the project tab, we add a canvas. Select it, go to the inspector and give it a folder and a file ID. Then define the texture width and height. Open the client device tree and drag the canvas from the project tree into a layer of the client. Here we take layer 5 with the ID 2.5. Select the client's device so you can see it in the inspector and with a right click on the client's device we choose toggle preview to see what's happening on the client. Let's make the preview a bit larger so it's not cut it. In the inspector, scroll down to the input event settings and click the button. We now have to check the boxes for show cursor in full screen to see the cursor on the output of the client. Enable device output 1 and route local input to widget designer devices to send the data to the widget designer. Now that we send the mouse data to the widget designer, we grab them with a layer mouse UV draw to canvas node. Double click on the node to see the item properties. Compare the folder and file ID to the canvas we created in Pandora's box. Type in the master's IP address and set the site ID and the device ID to the values of the layer where we dragged the canvas to. In the end, we have to define the canvas size in the widget designer as well. So, set your client to full screen and with your mouse you can now draw to the client's canvas. Here you can see it on the client in the front and in the preview of the master in the back. To clear the canvas you can either go to the Pandora's box master and click in the inspector of the canvas on the clear texture button or you can create a clear button in the widget designer. Herefore create a custom script button. Go to item properties and look for the resource canvas clear by id command and type in the folder and file ID of the canvas. Here you are. 
So this was a step-by-step -step explanation how you can establish the drawing connection itself. For our most advanced users I'd like to add some ideas or possibilities on how to get this application further. You can draw with a brush by entering a brush path. You can change the size or even the color by using node value nodes or this command. The parameter IDs are the small numbers beside the parameters. Alternatively, you can also use another device as a mouse. The AirScan, for example, can be configured to act as a mouse input. Or why not use other inputs like the camera tracker? The widget designer is able to understand so many devices, so you can as well combine them with the drawing feature. Finally, you can also use touch inputs with a node touch injection. In the following video, all is made with a widget designer and shows what you could achieve by combining these three things all together. Thank you for your attention.